This quiz series is an endeavor to provide a window to the learners for easy revision and self-assessment. This series will be useful to all the learners of Python programming language, especially to the CBSC class 11 and 12 CS and IP students as well as teachers. Please feel free to use the comment section for feedback on the series, to give new ideas or to ask for explanation to any of the questions. Enjoy it and get maximum benefit from the series. This is part one of the quiz covering fundamental data types and operators. You can play this quiz at your own pace. For that, you can pause the video at each question, think or calculate your answer, and then resume the video to see the correct answer. So, keep a pen and a notebook ready with you. Each question carries one or two marks, totaling 40 marks. At the end, you can check your performance in terms of marks scored out of a total of 40. Here is question number one. He developed Python. What is his name? Guido Van Rossum, Bill Gates, Charles Babbage, or Steve Jobs? And the answer is Guido Van Rossum. Question number two. Python was first released in the year 2000, 1995, 1991 or 2005 and the answer is 1991 question number three python is case sensitive not case sensitive selectively case sensitive or none of the above and the answer is python is case sensitive next question Python can be used to develop websites, desktop applications, data science applications, network applications, all of the above or none of the above. And the answer is all of these. Question number five, identify the Python IDEs from the following. And the answer is all of these. Idle, Spider, Anaconda, and Jupyter, all these are Python IDEs. Next question. What is the data type of seven within quotation marks? Int, float, bool, or string? And the answer is string. Anything within single quotation marks or a pair of double quotation marks is a string. Question number seven. What is the data type of 8.6? Int, float, bool or string? And the answer is float. Next question. What is the data type of 86? And the answer is int next question what is the data type of 8 floor division 6 and the answer is int question number 10 what is the data type of 8 true division 6 and the answer is float True division always gives you float result. Question number 11. What is the data type of 8.4 floor division 6? Int, float, bool or string? And the answer is float. Remember that if an arithmetic expression involves any operand of float type, then the result is also of float type. Question number 12. What is the data type of 8.4 greater than 6? Int, float, bool or string? And the answer is bool, bool for boolean. 
any expression which results in true or false values is a boolean expression question number 13 what is the value of the expression 14 floor division 3 calculate it and the answer is 4 14th question find the value of the expression minus 14 floor division 3 take care of the sign also and the answer is minus 5 15th question evaluate 14 floor division minus 3 and the answer is minus 5 16th evaluate minus 14 floor division minus 3 and the result is 4 17th question evaluate 14 remainder 3 and the answer is 2 question number 18 evaluate minus 14 remainder 3 and the answer is 1 19th evaluate 14 remainder minus 3 and the answer is minus 1 20th again evaluate minus 14 remainder minus 3 and the answer is minus 2 question number 21 what is the value of the expression 2 exponent 3 exponent 2 take care of the parenthesis also your options are 64 and 512 and the answer is 64 question number 22 evaluate 2 exponent 3 exponent 2 this time parenthesis are changed and the answer is 512 Now evaluate 2 exponent 3 exponent 2 without any parenthesis and the answer is 512. Question number 24 evaluate minus 3 exponent 2 and the answer is minus 9. 25th question now it is a bigger expression be patient take your time try to solve it correctly you have to evaluate this expression and the answer is 21.0 it is not 21 it is 21.0 answer is of float type Question number 26, again evaluate the expression and the answer is 57.0. Question number 27, evaluate the expression and the answer is 9.0. Question number 28, evaluate this expression and the answer is 49.5 question number 29 again evaluate a given expression and the answer is 24 be careful with the data type of the result this time the answer is not 24.0 it is 24 okay it is of integer type not of float type question number 30 again evaluate the given expression this time expression does not have any parenthesis so take care of the operator precedence very carefully and the answer is 8 Wow! Congratulations on completing this part of the quiz.
I hope you enjoyed it. Nothing to feel bad if you could not score full marks. Just see in which questions you went wrong and work on the concepts covered in those questions. That's all. If you seek my help, comment section is all yours. Just put a comment and I will be there to help you. If you wish, you can also write your marks in the comment section. And don't forget to Bye-bye.